I do believe that on the surface, what people experience <clears throat> is, you know, the color and maybe the the bright nails or the originality. Um, I think that's all surface. Mm. Um, I, I, I think that below and beneath all of that, there's a human soul. There's a human soul that is being nurtured, that's being cared for, that's being poured into. Mm -hmm. And that's the part of me that I celebrate and spend a lot of time working on every single day. So what people get to experience on the outside is just a glow of the inner glow. It is, it is the outer expression of what's happening on the inside. There's a beautiful Chinese proverb, and I'm probably gonna butcher it, but it goes something like this. Um, where, there is a, where there is beauty in the soul, um, there will be beauty in the person. Where there's beauty in the person, there will be harmony in the household. Where there's harmony in the household, mm. there, will be, there, there will be order in the nation. Mm. And when there is order in the nation, there will be peace in the world. So what does that say? That says it all starts from that soul, yeah. the beauty in the soul, and the light that's in the soul. So I think when I'm, you know, I'm in a new situation. I'm in New Orleans. I'm in a house. I'm speaking to someone. I'm a mom, a daughter, a, a, a gentleman, um, a chef, whoever I'm speaking to. I I always approach it that way. Mm. We're all souls, and there's beauty in your soul, and there's beauty in my soul. Yeah. And if I can connect to that, then all the other stuff is superficial. Yeah. But I will also say, I am aware <laughs> that when I walk into a room, I might look different than all the other people. Um, and I think that that is called my becoming. That is my becoming. That is not um, something I do on purpose. That's just who I am. Yeah. And that's who I am today. And two years from now, I might, be, I might look a different way. You yeah. know? So I think the package, the package may look one way today, but it might not look a way next week. It just depends on yeah. the day. It's definitely not going to look the same next week with you, Laz. No. <laughs> I don't know really what that means, but okay. <laughs> because you're so expressive in the way that you dress. Yeah. I do. Um, I, it, for me, I, um, it's, it's quite art that That in and of itself is really artistic. And I, um, your, your ability to connect and to push, push beyond that. Because there's no... There is no trace of that. You just you're there with them, and you just you just connect with them, and it's um, it's it. I I I'm very aware of it because I facilitate. I work with groups. Mm -hmm. I I work with teams. I work with a range of different types of groups and teams and communities, and um, it's really important that 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 there isn't any of there isn't any um, of that tension. Uh, if we want to have a good workshop or we want to do a good project together totally. and um, you've got to cut through stuff pretty quickly and you've got to be honest with people and open and I don't know what it is but mm -hmm. um, that 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 ability to do that is so important and right. um, and it's interesting to see you do it in a, in a different kind of context yeah it's all connecting. I, I get what you're saying. And I, ju I just also want to say, is this, that's a heavy, very loaded kind of discussion. But, you know, taking care of the inner part of you, the soul of you, um, you know, some people go to church for that. Some people do yoga. Some people write in journals. Some people write poetry. Uh, some people meditate. Um, I, I believe in any practice that will help you to become more internally focused yeah. and and open up your internal ear. But I do think that when you walk into a room, everyone, all of us, we all carry an energy. Mm. We carry a light and we carry an energy. And if you're having a really horrible day and you bring that energy into a room, you can literally bring a room down. Mm. You can bring a room down or you could bring a room up by walking into that space. Yeah, and it, mani you know? and it manifests itself in everything that you do. I had, um, my friend, Bobby, she had this really lovely line and um, where she was telling one of her directors about the 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 um, grilled cheese sandwich and if, you go, and if you go make if you go make this grilled cheese sandwich and you're pissed off and you're frustrated and you're anxious and you're you're making the sandwich uh, that's what you're serving you're right. serving frustration and anxiety and fear and um, and it was so beautiful she nailed it it was like a meeting um, and the the lady like you just see her smile and she fuck and she she got it she's like okay yeah that makes sense yeah um, and it's I. 
it's really it's challenging because um, that it is a it it is a it is a difficult conversation f mm -hmm. uh, to to communicate the the value and um, and not make it feel like it's not it's not something that you can grasp but it's it's really really important um, the yeah the energy that you're putting out through the things that you make and it's it's essentially what my almost any how is about in this organization that I that I've started which is the you know it's about design ultimately and about what we're creating what we're putting out there whether that's a service for um, for health whether that is a, a, a housing a housing program uh, or it's designing a, a product or whatever mm -hmm. it's a we're creating we're manifesting whatever is going on in ourselves in the team that's right in the organization and um, it, you don't go to the you don't go to the director and say hey look this is about uh, a spiritual uh, awareness and this is about a, a self awareness and you are manifesting what's going on inside you, you don't say that why not <laughs> i think we need to start talking that way i think that's part of the the, the challenge i think that yeah. we don't we don't necessarily Go ahead. I'll let you. I'll let you well, no. Go ahead because <laughs> it, it's. Uh, I say why not. <laughs> I, I say like, why not. But, but this just like how how can you com communicate it in in a way that is that is uh, like uh, what you were saying like uh, uh, edible like that people will yeah be able to consume yeah. and understand and uh, and like not think that is just like some almost like fairy tale -y sort yeah. of. And it goes back to our last conversation where we, we were talking with um, a friend of mine, Anthony, and we were talking about personality types. And, um, and like Anthony said, the personality types, Myers-Briggs, they haven't been scientifically proven, mm -hmm. but um, there's definitely something there about people who think with the, with the heart and some people who think with the head and people who, most people who run organizations or a large percentage of people who run organizations are, are people who think with, with the head. Mm -hmm. they're, they're about the finances, they're about the bottom line, they're about a particular kind of conscientiousness that is not always going to hear something about um, the, the emotion and the heart that is brought to the organization. Um, so there is a, in my conversations, I have to strike, I have to be able to strike, I think, a balance of, I've got to speak in your language. Sure. And, um, but yeah, you're, you're totally right. The, 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 there's a perfectly good question. And actually, it's something that needs to be, uh, that, ha that has to be part of the ongoing conversation with myself, which is, okay, at one point, at what point are you going to say, look, like, the paradigm that we're working in doesn't work. Right. And... Um, at what point is it going to be about emotion and heart and that's where decisions are made that's how decisions are made absolutely I mean you look at anything from how you know a war a war happens or or how you know uh, great organizations are created and it, it all kind of starts with this idea that dr. Brene Brown a researcher and social worker from the United States talks about a lot this uh, uh, this ability to be vulnerable mm. that word vulnerability um, and it takes it takes people showing up and saying I'm not perfect I don't have I don't have all my shit together, and uh, you know and I I'm a human being who's just trying to figure it out. Mm. And I think we build we if we're doing or we're not doing we're still we're still doing mm. if that makes sense. If we're adding to the system or we're um, just going along with the system in some way you're enabling that system. Yeah. Or you're helping to create a new one. Yeah, how it's in. How it's in said you can't be neutral in a moving train. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think I uh, I gotta say though, it is important to have, to strike a balance, and uh, and it is important that the the people who think with their heads also have a space, which obviously they 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 do. But I'm a very big proponent of of, of balance, and I think that's where you well, that's where you strike the where you, where you want to when where you want to get. You don't want to have something that is ultra emotional and then it just doesn't work you know it has to have both parts both sides of the coin i think yeah i think yeah i mean there's a there's a there's a, uh, we were talking the other day about m masculine and feminine energy and i don't um we could talk about that but it's uh, maybe it's like a whole that's a whole segment uh i think about what does it mean to have a masculine energy and feminine energy but definitely like a push and a pull hmm. or receive a receive a yeah, receptive yeah, yeah, energy yeah. And, a, and a giving energy we were talking about this the other day me yeah and us. yeah Wait, it's so vital man because it's 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 swinging back and forth and now we've got this there's this real strong narrative about um about having to be a receptive energy it's like yeah absolutely um 
you there, we need to listen. We need to um, we need to take time to reflect, and also we can't we can't lose the other piece as well, and um, can't throw the baby out with the bathwater kind of thing. Right. Um, and that there's I don't think there's a lot of spaces that are that are supporting that kind of conversation mm -hmm. where I think it's important to realize that not everything is black and white either, and there's a lot of middle ground, and uh, it's and it's really fun to explore. So we should just like stop being afraid of it. Stop looking like to things like as very very strict strictly and just like open up and just like explore the gray area. Explore and the, the truth the is, so sorry. Cut no, you go ahead. no, the truth is, is that I think the world is hungry for that. Mm. The world is hungry for that. And within organizations, I work with a number of organizations, companies. Um, they're all looking for that deeper element of what are we building? What are we doing? Why are we doing it? Who are we serving? Mm. And I think we can get lost in, you know, I've, I've worked with the corporate side. I understand, I understand making your bottom line, and I, I, but I do think that we can get so caught up in that and in trying to impress people or just trying to um, check a box on a really long list of this is will make me happy if I do this, um, or this is what success looks like. And I think we need to just put that to the side for a second and have real conversations. And I think organizations all over are recognizing that when they become more human, you know, when they humanize who they are as a company, that they're way more effective mm. and they can do way more. Um, so I do think that that companies are hungry for that. I think real leadership is the ability to uh, think and lead and also be compassionate. Yeah. I, I don't think that you can be one without the other. I think good leadership is one that you yeah. can experience um, human, human to human soul connection with the people that you work with and the people that serve your vision and your mission, um, but you're also someone who's able to inspire and lead and make decisions and make things happen.